Hey, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Paper Hat Studios with an update to our Windows System Hardening series. I just wanted this video to be up to date with the rest of the series. Right now, we're going to be talking about Cyber Patriot and a little bit of background information about me. I am an ex-competitor who competed in Cyber Patriot from 2013 all the way up to 2017. To this day, I am a mentor and a Cyber Patriot community contributor. My most notable contributions are two guides that I made as study guides in these videos. You'll find the links to those in the description. For those who are new to Cyber Patriot, it is a national youth cyber education program created by the Air Force Association to introduce and inspire students towards careers in cybersecurity or other STEM areas. In my personal opinion, Cyber Patriot is an extremely valuable program because without it, I don't know where I would be today. The idea of defending against malicious software and bad actors is still not a commonly known career path to this day. Now the next question, what do you do in Cyber Patriot? Well, teams of six including one alternate take on the role of newly hired IT staff with the purpose of finding vulnerabilities and securing systems to prevent future attacks. The competition itself is done through software called VMware Player. You can find a link on that software along with a video by Paper Hat creator Henry on how to set up virtual environments to practice on in the description. For each round, the general difficulty and amount of images increases. In addition to that, there is also a challenge called the Cisco Networking Challenge, where a cyber patriot from your team will be tasked to configure and troubleshoot a network. There's also a quiz on the same thing too. Let's talk more about what you actually do during competition. The world relies on Microsoft Windows for a lot of things, and everyone's familiar with it. When working on Windows systems, most of what you need to do will be done through graphical user interfaces. However, you can always pick up a shell and learn how to do things through the command line. But there's a lot more to Windows than Office applications and web browsing, like being able to be configured as a server, which is a computer that provides multiple computers some kind of service. In competition, the most common systems you'll deal with are Windows 10 and Windows Server 2016. Some of the tasks you might need to do include changing passwords, managing users, configuring policies, doing digital forensics, setting up defenses, and undoing what the bad guys have done. In the world, there are two dominant operating systems, Windows and Linux. No, we ignore that one. Linux operating systems are usually free, open source, and give you full control of your system. Unlike Windows, most of the time, you will need to control the system through the command line. Linux systems can serve the same purpose as Windows systems, but generally, Linux users will have a better idea of what their system is and isn't capable of. Linux systems are generally more secure out of the box than Windows systems, and there are less viruses in the wild for Linux than Windows. However, that does not mean that you're safe from them. In competition, the most common systems you'll deal with are Ubuntu and Debian. The versions depend on the round. Now for those who are technical mentors, if you're trying to teach kids how to use and secure these systems, the primary tasks that they'll need to be good at are things like reducing the attack surface, developing security policies to implement, incident response, securing server applications, and finding hidden vulnerabilities and backdoors. There's a lot of things that they need to be good at, but those are some of the most important topics. Security Plus content generally offers enough information on these concepts to provide a good idea as to what you can focus on. Hopefully you now have a good idea as to what you need to do for competition. The skills you learn in this competition will go a long way beyond high school. For example, doing any part of this competition could give you the groundwork you need to go for certifications like Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate, LPIC 1 and 2, Cisco Certified Technician, or Security Plus. In the end, Cyber Patriot is a growing program to prepare students for a growing field. And while not everyone has the same mentor and resources, I'll be here every step of the way to help you however I can. Good luck and have fun.